Hey, what is up, guys? It's Tech to here back with another video. And Firefox just came in with Firefox Quantum a few weeks ago, and I just wanted to go ahead and test how it compares with Chrome right now. Um, it's a totally refreshed interface, and it just looks really great. Um, I've been using this new Firefox for about a month and a half now, so I have lots of experiences and things with it. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video, and let's go. Okay, so guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and just start by running a couple benchmarks from different websites to see the performance of Chrome and Firefox. And then I'm going to list some new features that Firefox Quantum has. And we're just going to go ahead and compare them. So without further ado, let's go and get started. Um, first, we're going to start this by running N22's HTML5 test. Um, it is a really popular and powerful um, benchmark tool. And um, it tests this, it just basically tests um, this overall speed of the browser. Okay, so as you guys saw, Firefox had a lower score with 43,866, while Chrome had a high score of 45,621. Now benchmarks isn't everything, and this is the first benchmark test that we did. So next, we're going to move on to another benchmark test. Okay, so guys, next we're going to go ahead and use Speedometer 2.0, um, which tests the responsiveness of the browsers. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so guys, but as you guys can see, Chrome beats Firefox yet again with a score of 62.96, while Firefox has a score of 52.3. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our final test of the day, and we'll start talking about some of the new features um, of Firefox. Okay, so guys, finally, we're just going to go ahead and run Motion Mark Benchmark. Um, this is basically uh, a benchmark that mainly focuses um, on the browser graphic performance. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so guys, as you guys can see, Chrome beats Firefox with a score of 230.22 yet again, while Firefox has a score of 101.32. That is more than a 100 point um, lead by Chrome, and this basically means that Chrome is going to have a much better experience uh, with browser graphics um, and things like that. Okay guys, so now let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of the new um, Firefox Quantum. 
First, Mozilla claims that it is two times faster than the old Firefox. Um, it also claims that it takes 30% less memory storage than Chrome, which is kind of true. Um, I haven't done a test on that yet, but Chrome does take up um, a lot of RAM, and I sometimes it can um, it makes my computer really slow. Um, and it also claims that it can switch tabs better. Um, it claims it's faster to switch tabs and. It also claims that it is all easier to switch to Firefox and that it will import all your bookmarks, autofills, passwords, and even all your history. But of course, that is option optional. Um, it has tracking prevention. Um, you can also now take screenshots inside your browser without extensions. Um, and there's some new pocket add-ons, uh, which is the tool in Firefox that um, basically just makes things easier and faster. Okay, so guys, but anyways, now let's go ahead and talk about the interface, um, which is the main thing that Mozilla is going for in Firefox Quantum. Um, and let me just say, I really do like the um, new Firefox's interface. Um, and even though Chrome, it, you know, it's a really reliable browser, um, it's a lot faster, and it's a really popular browser and stuff, um, I do have to say that the, the design is kind of old um, and I mean I just seriously really um, love the new Firefox design I think it looks really nice I think it looks fresh um, and yeah okay so guys now let's just go ahead and talk about the conclusion whether or not you should use the new Firefox or keep um, using Chrome um, now again I think Firefox Quantum is a great browser I love um, the fresh design um, but some things are still not on point um, but since it's so new I think with some updates Firefox um, can definitely be Chrome in the future um, and you know for right now Chrome is probably the most reliable browser um, and you'll probably get the most support out of it from Google and stuff um, it's a lot faster than Firefox especially in the graphics side um, but that could all be fixed with some um, updates from Mozilla on um, Firefox um, but anyways guys thank you so much um, for t watching today's video I really hope you guys like it if you guys want more um, of this kind of browser videos or if you want um, a second video to this because I do not cover all the things um, I might do a battery test on this um, on my laptop or something like that in the future but Anyways, guys, um, so yeah, this is it, and I'll see you guys next week.